Evening Prayer 2 for the Solemnity of Pentecost God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Psalm 80, Antiphon 1 The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my Master. Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit, the Spirit of, of the Lord, Lord has filled the whole world. world. Alleluia. Send us your strength, O God, from your holy temple in Jerusalem, and perfect your work in us. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the side, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains leapt like rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it, see, that you fled, that you turned back, Jordan, on your course? Mountains, that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Send, Send us your strength, O God, God, from your holy temple in Jerusalem, and perfect your work in us. Alleluia. All were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak. Alleluia. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice and sing praise and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All we were, were filled, filled with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit and, and they, they began, began to speak. speak. Alleluia. Alleluia. The reading is from a letter to the Ephesians. Make every effort to preserve the unity which has the Spirit at its origin and peace at its binding force. There is but one body and one Spirit, just as there is but one hope given all of you by your call. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and works through all, and is in all. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. Alleluia, alleluia. He sustains all creation and knows every word that is spoken. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world. Alleluia, alleluia. Canticle of Mary the Antiphon Today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Alleluia. On this day the Holy Spirit appeared before the apostles in tongues of fire and gave them his spiritual gifts. He sent them out to preach to the whole world and to proclaim that all who believe and are baptized shall be saved. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Alleluia. On this day the Holy Spirit appeared before the apostles in tongues of fire, and gave them his spiritual gifts. He sent them out to preach to the whole world, and to proclaim that all who believe and are baptized shall be saved. Alleluia. Intercessions God the Father has gathered his church in unity through Christ. With joy in our hearts, let us ask him, Send your Holy Spirit into the church. You desire the unity of all Christians through one baptism in the Spirit. Make all who believe one in heart and soul. Send your Holy Spirit into the church. You desire the whole world to be filled with the Spirit. Help all mankind to build a world of justice and peace. Send your Holy Spirit into the church. Lord God, Father of all mankind, you desire to, to gather together your scattered children in unity of faith. Enlighten the world by the grace of the Holy Spirit. Send, Send your, your Holy Spirit, Spirit into, into the church. church. Through the Spirit you make all things new. Heal the sick, comfort the distressed, give salvation to all. Send, Send your, your Holy Spirit, Spirit into the church. Through the Spirit you raise your Son from the dead. Raise up the bodies of the dead into everlasting life. Send your Holy Spirit into the church, and for the happy repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, we pray, send your Holy Spirit into the church, and for the intentions in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we pray, send your Holy Spirit into the church, and for the intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts, We pray, send your Holy Spirit into the church. And now let us pray as Christ the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, Fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Night Prayer After Evening Prayer 2 in the Season of Easter God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Examination of Conscience We are called to have a clear conscience toward God and toward men, in our hearts and in our minds, in our actions and inactions. To do so, it is vital that we examine our conscience daily and to ask for God's mercy as we fall short and to ask for his strength to do better. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Psalmody Antiphon 1. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides in the shade of the Almighty says to the Lord, My refuge, my stronghold, my God in whom I trust. It is he who will free you from the snare of the fowler who seeks to destroy you. He will conceal you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand fall at your right. You it will never approach. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Your eyes have only to look, to see how the wicked are repaid. You who have said, Lord, my refuge, and have made the Most High your dwelling. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach where you dwell. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you upon their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. On the lion and the viper you will tread, and trample the young lion and the dragon. Since he clings to me in love, I will free him. Protect him, for he knows my name. When he calls, I shall answer, I am with you. I will save him in distress and give him glory. With length of life I will content him. I shall let him see my saving power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. alleluia. The reading is from Revelation. They shall see the Lord face to face, and bear his name on their foreheads. The night shall be no more. They will need no light from lamps or the sun, for the Lord God shall give them light, and they shall reign forever. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Gospel Canticle, the Antiphon. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep, rest in his peace. Alleluia. Lord, now you, you let your servant go in peace. peace. Your, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Alleluia. Let us pray. 
Lord, we have celebrated today the mystery of the rising of Christ to new life. May we now rest in your peace, safe from all that could harm us, and rise again refreshed and joyful to praise you throughout another day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. And the Antiphon in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Amen. Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And this is the last of our recordings of the Divine Office Prayers. Until the next penitential season. And, oh, oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Says who? Says she. Okay, says <laughs> she. God bless you all. We loved doing this, didn't we? We loved doing it. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, I'm glad we got to do it. And I think it, it's really strengthened our prayer life, too. Oh. Even though we've already been doing this all along since I was ordained, it still strengthened us. Because we felt accountable to our listeners, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it was worth it. If three got something out well, of if it, even one, even got, one something got something out of it, it was worth it, I definitely. Know. I know. Yeah. Praying together. So we'll keep you all in our prayers. Yep. So now what we got to do is figure out some other project to keep us occupied while we're, um, while we're, uh, in the, uh, pandemic prison. <laughs> yeah. It is a prison, isn't it? Yeah. Well, how about some household chores? Uh, no. Okay. How about some fun things? I don't know. What should we do? <laughs> Go to the zoo. <laughs> the zoo's closed, too. <laughs> How about if we go to... Um, hmm. <laughs> Where can we go? Visit the great-grandchildren. That'd be great. That would be well worth the time. <laughs> All right. God bless y'all. Bye. <laughs>